Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, we're going to go over the WooCommerce integration in Oxygen. We're starting here on an archive page to show you the kinds of layouts and styles you can achieve with Oxygen's WooCommerce integration. Let's jump right in and start designing our archive template. So let's go back to the dashboard and we're going to go to Oxygen and Templates. We already have an archive template set up here, so let's click that. And in this case, it's applied to all archives. But if you wanted it to only be applied to WooCommerce product archives, you could choose post types. And in the custom post type list, we scroll down and look for product. You can also apply it to things like product variations, shop orders, shop coupons, any custom post type that's set up by WooCommerce, though the extras sometimes are not necessary. So let's update that. And let's edit this with Oxygen and set up a quick archive template. Oxygen's WooCommerce integration includes over 20 WooCommerce specific elements. These elements have robust customization options. And it's all done from within Oxygen in the Properties pane. So let's click Add. And we're going to go down to WooCommerce. And here you can see all of the elements included with the integration. For an archive, we want to choose Products List. So let's click that. And as you can see here, we have a pretty much default view being returned. But on the left hand side in the Properties pane, you can see all of the control sets that we can access. So let's jump into Products Query. We can leave it as default, which is fine since we have this in an archive template applied to the Products Archive or you can use the custom query settings to query specific products. You have limit, which limits the number of items that are returned, the number of columns, whether you paginate or not, order by options, date, ID, menu order, popularity, rating, title. We can order it ascending or descending. We can choose a specific category. We can choose to only return on sale items, only return best selling items, only return top rated items. We can also just choose from a list of IDs that we pass in or SKUs, or we can return items with a specific attribute with specific terms, and we can choose items with a specific visibility. In this case, we're going to use the default query. So let's jump back to the properties pane and let's look at our layout options. We can, of course, set padding. We can change the way the items are aligned within the list. For this, let's center everything. We can change the number of columns. We can go to two columns, three columns, four or five. Now let's go back and look at heading. We can adjust the shop heading. For this, let's set it to zero pixels to hide it. We can adjust the font family, font color, all the normal typography settings in Oxygen can be applied to the products list heading. Results count, we can style this text here. Same typography settings as the heading. We can go to the sorting select section and change the way this sorting select dropdown is styled. We can change the padding, typography settings, border settings, we can change the focus border settings. We can change the box shadow and we can change the focus box shadow. So there's a lot of flexibility on these elements. We can adjust the sales badge, which for this, we'll go ahead and change the background color to pink. And you can change the offset. So we could go something like 25 pixels from the top, 25 from the left to move it down and over. You can change the font size. You can change the font family, line height, border radius, and text transform. Next is the images. We have border options here, so we can add or remove borders from all the images, change the border style. We can set the border radius to something crazy like 50% to get circular images. We can go to box shadow and adjust the shadow on the images. We can also adjust links, stars for products with a star rating, price, main buttons, view cart buttons, 
and pagination. So we have our products list element and our archive is being returned. So we can jump to the front end and see what that looks like. Fantastic. So a completely custom WooCommerce products archive is being returned. But now we want to see the products as well. So we need to make sure we have a template applied to the product post type, and then we can customize the way the products appear when we click into one of them. So let's go back to the dashboard and go to Oxygen, Templates, and I have a single product template here that's set up. It's applied to Singular Products. Let's click Edit with Oxygen. Now, building single product layouts with Oxygen's WooCommerce integration is a little bit unique because you need a wrapper element called the Product Builder. So let's click Add. Let's go to WooCommerce. And the first element in the single product category is Product Builder. So we always want to insert that first when we're working with single product elements. So click Insert to insert Product Builder. And you can see it returns the default WooCommerce layout. But of course, we want to customize this because we're using Oxygen, right? So on the left-hand side with the Product Builder selected, you can see that we have Product ID if we wanted this builder to return a specific product. In this case, we're working on the product template. So it's going to return whichever post we're viewing through that template. We'll leave it empty for now. We can adjust the child element layout just like every other element in Oxygen. And then we can insert single product elements. But first, let's set up some structure. Let's click Add and let's add a columns element. And let's do a two column layout. And then we're going to go into this first left column and we're going to insert the product details. So let's go to Add. And under WooCommerce, we'll insert the product title. Let's change the color and add some spacing below it. And then let's add the product price. So add and product price. And let's go in and change the color here. And let's add the product description. And then let's add the product cart button. Perfect. So now we have all the needed details on the left here. Let's add a little bit of spacing there. On the right side, I'd like to have my product images displayed. So click Add and look for the product images element. This will render a single image if the product only has a single image, or it will render the main image with the sub images as thumbnails if the product has multiple images. So now we have a basic layout, but we probably want to put some more detail here. So let's click the product builder and click add. And then we're going to add the product tabs element, which contains information like description and reviews and more product details. We can also customize this element. We can change the color of the tabs. We can change the color of them when they're in their normal state, when they're active, when they're hovered. We can go to headings and change the way the headings are styled within the content. We can go to content and we can add some padding. Change the background color, adjust the content borders. We can change the content typography. And we can adjust some settings for the additional info tab like typography, value typography, and sell content. This would be for products that have a grid of addi additional info that's displayed in the tabs element. So we've already set up a basic product layout. So let's jump over here to our archive and let's click one of these products and take a look at it. There you have it. We've got our product layout that we just set up. Now we can click add to cart. Now before we jump off of this single product template, Let's take a look at the other single product elements available that we didn't use. So choose the product builder. We have product excerpt, product info, product meta, product rating, product upsells, which would list linked products in WooCommerce, related products, which would link products that have been marked as related to one another, and product stock. 
for products whose inventory you track. And every single one of these elements has a robust set of controls to allow you to customize and style them. So since we've added a product to our cart, Let's jump back to the dashboard and let's style our WooCommerce cart page. So go back to WordPress, admin, and pages. And here you'll find the pages that WooCommerce sets up for you by default. We have cart, checkout, my account, and shop. Shop is the product's archive, so we've already styled that. So let's jump into the cart and let's edit with oxygen. And let's click add, go to WooCommerce, and below the single product elements, we have archive and product lists, where we have the product list element that we used previously for the product's archive, categories list, if we want a list of categories in our WooCommerce store, archive title, which can be used to display the title of an archive, and archive description, which of course displays the archive description. We don't need these for the cart page. We actually need the WooCommerce pages category and the shopping cart element. Let's click that to insert it. Great. Now we've inserted the Oxygen WooCommerce shopping cart. We can customize it in the same way we can customize anything else in Oxygen by using the Properties pane on the left-hand side. So let's go to Heading. We can adjust the headings, which will change the cart totals text. And again, all the normal typography settings you have in Oxygen are available for this element. We can change table headers, which will adjust the headings there at the top of the cart table. We can adjust the primary button, background color, hover background color, button padding. Then we have some subsections for typography, border, hover border, box shadow, and hover box shadow. We can also change the secondary button setting similarly and disabled button settings where we have background color, opacity, button padding, typography, border, and box shadow settings. We can change the inputs, borders, focus border, and focus box shadow. We can change the images. We can change the image borders and image box shadow as well as the width. And we can go to prices and adjust the prices. We can make them gigantic if we want to, but we probably don't. And again, more typography settings for that element. And finally, we have links, which would adjust the styling of the actual product links there. We can adjust the size, font family, all the normal typography settings. So as you can see, this self-contained page element has everything we need for a WooCommerce cart. So let's go to WooCommerce elements again and look at the other pages we have. We have elements to style the checkout page, order tracking, and my account. So those should each be used on the respective page as set up by WooCommerce during WooCommerce activation. And once that element's inserted on that page, you can then style the WooCommerce elements as needed. We also have a breadcrumb element, which is very useful in the single product template to show your users where they're at in your store. Now, finally, we have global WooCommerce settings. You may have noticed here that a lot of our links and our borders are already styled to match our logo up here. And that's done under Manage, Settings, Global Styles, and WooCommerce. This is a good place to start when you're building a WooCommerce store because you can really get a cohesive look for your WooCommerce elements before ever customizing them by setting your global style. So we can go into buttons and set all these colors, primary CTA, secondary CTA, tertiary CTA, and disabled button colors, as well as border radius. We can adjust the link colors, standard and hover, and we can change the input settings, colors, as well as border radius. And we can adjust general text colors, and we can adjust the borders for notifications. And we can adjust the sales badge colors, star rating colors for primary and grayed out, border settings, and some more background settings. And then we also can adjust the heading typography settings a bit for WooCommerce widgets, which are different than the WooCommerce elements that you're working with in Oxygen. 
WooCommerce widgets would be found under WordPress widgets. And there are a bunch of WooCommerce widgets that are installed when WooCommerce is activated. This would allow you to adjust their headings and make sure they look a little bit more cohesive with the rest of your WooCommerce design. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to use Oxygen's WooCommerce integration. Thank you for watching.